Hi, welcome to Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinica, and today I'm going to show you how to make hyaluronic acid serum. Okay, to make hyaluronic acid serum, you'll need a few ingredients. You'll need deionized water, you'll need hyaluronic acid, and there are, are a few different forms of hyaluronic acid, and uh, you can check out our blog to read about the different forms of hyaluronic acid. Uh, this happens to be sodium hyaluronate, um, which is the salt of hyaluronic acid, and still goes by the name of hyaluronic acid. So read our blog for more information, but uh, you'll need hyaluronic acid to make your hyaluronic acid serum. You'll need plum oil, phenoxyethanol for preservation, and tetrasodium glutamate diacetate as your chelator. You also need a hot plate or a stove top and a container that's safe for a stove top. So to get started, you're, you're going to want to heat your uh, water up to about 130, between 130 and 140 degrees. So we're just going to heat this up and we'll come back when it's all nice and warm and ready. Okay, so we've heated our water up. It's sitting right at 138. So uh, the next thing you're, you'll need, of course, is your um, immersion blender or your stick blender or your high shear blender, <laughs> however you want to call it. You'll need something that looks like this. And uh, this is really simple to make. Uh, you want to uh, you'll probably have to adjust the speed of your mixer as you start ha adding the hyaluronic acid, but first we're adding our phenoxyethanol and the tetrasodium glutamate diacetate and we'll just mix, give that a quick mix. And then to add the hyaluronic acid, and this is the important part, you want to slowly sprinkle it in as you're mixing with your high shear mixer. If you just dump this in, uh, you might get the formation of what we call fish eyes, which are globby clumps of uh, hyaluronic acid that haven't hydrated properly. So we're going to just sprinkle this in as we mix. And you can see that I, I accidentally mixed some of that or actually poured some of that powder onto my mixer and I'm just going to peel it away. And that's kind of how fish eyes form. So I'm not going to give up on this. I'm going to go ahead and push it into the liquid and see if I can mix it in properly. This is exactly kind of what you don't want to do um, and we're going to see if we can fix this. turning up the speed on my mixer so that we can really get this going. You can see that it's thickened up quite a bit. And don't be afraid to really mix this. Uh, go ahead and get aggressive with it. Um, the better you mix this, the clearer your serum will be. Um, it's, it's, it's not a problem to overmix this. So now I'm just checking to make sure that I haven't, I don't have any fish eyes and that all of the powder is actually um, dissolved into the water. And it looks that way to me. Uh, I'll know for sure. Um, it looks a little white right now because we've mixed a lot of air into there. So what you're seeing are actually the air bubbles. This will clear up as it cools down and the air works its way out. So I'm just going to mix it a little bit more just for good measure.
Okay, so now that we have that all mixed in, I am simply going to add the plum oil. And the reason that I chose plum oil is because it smells delicious and I just wanted a hyaluronic acid serum with plum oil this time. But feel free to use any oil that appeals to you. Sea buckthorn berry oil gives your serum a nice um, orange tint, which I really think is pretty. So you may be wondering, do I have to add an oil? The answer is no, you don't have to. Um, I think it makes the serum nice. You could make a very simple hyaluronic acid only serum. That would be fine. Um, you do need a moisturizer if you're going to do that, but um, a hyaluronic acid only serum is just fine as well. So one more mix. there you have it. It's really that easy to make your hyaluronic acid serum. Um, we will wait for these bubbles to work their way out so that I can show you what a nice serum this ends up being. Okay, so now we're back and uh, the hyaluronic acid serum, it looks clear. It's actually a uh, it used to be called glass eyes and uh, read our blog and you'll understand why, but I just wanted to show you kind of how how it looks. Um, and this is this is with 1% hyaluronic acid, um, the sodium hyaluronate that, that we sell on our website, um, which is 1,000 Daltons and 1,000 K Daltons, I guess. And um, it thickens up really nicely. Um, I wanted to show you some examples of the different types of hyaluronic acid. So we have three different ones here. So we have um, the the um, sodium hyaluronate that we sell online. We also have a 50K Dalton hyaluronic acid and then a one Dalton, or a, a, I'm sorry, a thousand Dalton hyaluronic acid. Gosh, I'm getting myself confused here. So I wanted to show you um, these both, um, the sodium hyaluronate and the thousand um, K Dalton, both have kind of the same Rheology. You can kind of see that they, um, can you see that? Okay. You can kind of see that uh, when we flip them upside down, you see the air bubble um, moves, I mean, obviously really slow in the one that we sell at a 1% solution. So really 1% is kind of the max um, that you can use uh, of the hyaluronic acid that we sell. Um, you might be able to go a little higher than 1%, but you can see how thick uh, it's, how thick and viscous it really is. Um, feels great on the skin, though. It absorbs right away. So the 50K Dalton is, I mean, it didn't do anything at a 1%. It barely thickened the water at all. It still behaves just like water. Uh, there is a purpose for this. Um, read our blog it's uh there's a theory about the smaller size of the daltons um being more effective i personally really i think this is beautiful and this is what i want um, when i make a hyaluronic acid serum so anyways i just wanted to do a demonstration of the different um, types of hyaluronic acid serum and there's obviously much more information in our blog we hope you enjoyed this video thanks for joining us today um, be sure to subscribe for more great videos and um, happy making. <music>